Thank you, Mr. Chair and um, members of the Executive Committee. I'm a co-sponsor of Resolution 35, so I'm here to speak in favor. Um, and first, I want to politely remind you that this is about establishing a citizen advisory panel, and that's all it's about. It's not about stopping research at the University of Wisconsin. The title of the resolution is an es establishing an advisory panel to study the treatment of monkeys used in experiments in Dane County and the ethics of experimenting on monkeys. Um, part of the reason I'm here to speak and didn't stay home is because several of my constituents and indeed my neighborhood association believe that this issue needs a closer look. The university has refused um, to allow a closer look and more and more people in Dane County have come to see this as an illegitimate position designed it appears to shut down debate and stonewall on an important issue. The University of Wisconsin is a public university funded by public tax dollars so that doesn't sound like um, it's encouraging debate or um, study. It's, it's disappointing. And it really comes across, it's really begin to come across as, as I've talked to constituents who've had interaction with the university as uh, we've got everything under control. Kind of reminds you of the scene in Wizard of Oz where it says, where the guy says, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, and, I, and I think it's interesting that an institution of higher learning could oppose an initiative to study something. It's, it's ironic, really. Um, now tonight, just tonight, the university's proposed a series of forums, but as a speaker pointed out earlier, this is in reaction to the passage of Resolution 35 by the Health and Human Needs Committee last week, and I don't find that very reassuring. Um, I guess the, the last thing I, I want to say is if everything is okay with the way the university is conducting research on non-human primates, then a citizen advisory panel looking at the ethics of it won't hurt. Um, and I ask you please to let this go to the full county board for debate because the debate is unlikely to happen anywhere else at this point. Thanks. Thank you. From my training as a veterinarian and a scientist, uh, I, I'm con constantly reminded that I have to reevaluate everything I do and how I approach my job every day. And I get up every morning and I say, am I treating these animals well? Am I doing all that I need to do? Am I um, adhering to the letter of the law? And, you know, I've learned something in the last week. I think, obviously, the citizens of Madison don't, or, or a, a section of the citizens of Madison, at least, don't feel that we're transparent enough. And, and I just have to say, um, since I've been at the university, I feel the, the Primate Center has done a great job at being trans, uh, transparent. And transparent means giving facts. And for over a year now, we've had an open dialogue with Bill Leaders from the Isthmus. He's published several articles, in fact, one today that I commented in. Um, I feel we are very, being transparent, and I feel we're continuing um, to do a good job. All right, I actually speak on behalf of the Humane Society of the United States. We have 11 million members and about 225,000 in the state of Wisconsin, many of whom reside in Dane County, as I do. And we wanted to thank you for the opportunity for letting us provide a statement um, about some of our concerns on the primate research happening here in our community. Uh, the Humane Society of the United States is actually concerned about a long history that the University of Wisconsin has on underreporting the pain and severe distress of animals in their care. In 2008, a total of 2,072 primates were used in research at UW, and none of those animals were reported as experiencing unrelieved pain and dis distress, despite the conduct of infectious disease research and several other types of research that are highly invasive. Of 6,000 animals used in UW in 2008, only two were, were reported as experiencing unrelieved pain and distress. However, when we examined published papers from animal studies and evidence from University of Wisconsin's own annual report to the USDA, we found counterexamples. 
Uh, one example was a USDA report uh, experimentation where about 260 primates were restrained in restraining chairs for 104 hours, sometimes up to four days in some experience, yet none of those animals were reported as experiencing any relief of distress. And the university has failed to meet even this very, very modest request. The recent move by the UW's Animal Care and Use Committee to rubber stamp a statement indicating that the primate research is ethical only increases the importance of convening a non-biased panel that will engage in genuine deliberation. Therefore, the passage of this resolution to form a citizen advisory panel to examine the treatment and the subsequent retirement of these primates used in experience in Dane County is imperative. So consequently, we just urge the uh, executive committee here to please recommend sponsorship of this to the full, to the full board. Thanks for your time.